Hi everyone, Shirtlight here. A while ago I did touch on the pros and cons of the GameCube port of Gundam vs Zeta, which lets you play with up to three other players locally. Today, however, we're gonna take a look at the Gundam action strategy that came out after G-Next on both the PS1 and the Saturn. The game in question takes more after SD Gundam X and SD Gundam GX as opposed to G-Next, while the graphics side of things is fairly close to its ancestors on the Super Famicom, the combat sequences and the menus feature sprites that follow the slightly uncanny fake 3D visual direction that Gundam over Galaxian and the Great Bell 6 have, which might bother some people. What you're getting with G-Century's 1997 port on the PS1 and its 1998 Saturn port named G-Century S is a set of game modes, which are somewhat similar to the lineup of SD Gundam G Next. Going from the top, you get the Scenario Mode, Single Stage Mode, World Mode, which is pretty much just the Config Map Mode from G Next, and Century Mode, which is kinda like Scenario but slightly different. You can also play just the combat sequences via the Action Battle Mode, or make a custom faction, which is a pretty cool addition for people who like the Production Mode and G Next. This game does differ in certain ways in comparison to its predecessors, including manual transformation on the map itself as opposed to mid-flight, lack of command presets, manual blocking, manual hover modes, and so on. The combat does feel different, that's for sure. Both ports are very similar in this regard, save for some slight visual differences, such as the menu background on the PS1 port being a gradient, as opposed to the more pixelized color transition on the Saturn or the general menu and grid sprite look. Then again, the latter might have been the result of me not messing with the emulation settings. Regardless, the Saturn port has those sprites look much sharper. Aside from the improvement in general visual clarity, the actual port differences start with the control scheme, understandably so, and with the roster size. There isn't too much of a difference between the rosters of G-Century and G-Century S per se, but the Saturn port additionally gets LPO Porus Kubelay Mark II for the Axis faction, Mandela Gundam for the Shuffle Alliance faction, Gundam Double X for the Colony Force, and the Tolgis II for the Oz faction. Overall, not a big change, but the added units are neat. Not much to be said past that, so if you feel like it, go like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Shirtlaid, signing out.